My apologies to whoever put this up originally because I could not find the original source. <laughs> Why you hit me up? Everyone is picking this up. Should have hit me up. Do you I know, know who put this out on Twitter? I surely do. Who? I forget, I forgot his name. <laughs> it was actually on Instagram. It was on the gram. It was on Instagram. And it was on. I know the guy from Instagram. Right. And so then, SB got. Nation grabbed it. Oh, uh, you got to get him the credit, huh? Who would have thought during the 2003 draft that 15 years down the line, Kyle Korver would be a better <laughs> NBA player than Carmelo Anthony? That's funny. That's really hilarious. Now, let's make this very clear. So point out that it was, a, it was an Instagram post. It's an Instagram Somebody post. saying that, you know, I'm assuming to be funny. Right, just telling a joke. It was, oh, it was some hoops Instagram yeah, account. Yeah, some hoops, yeah. yeah, so yeah just a joke. Basketball-driven yeah. account. It, a little was trolling. It? Was it? It's a little trolling. I don't know if it was supposed to be a joke. Nah, it was a joke. No, I don't think so. Oh, that I don't think so. That trolling. No. You don't think it's trolling? No, I don't. I, I see handshakes from the, from the, I don't. From the guys. Because Kyle handshakes. Korver is having this postseason where it's like, oh, yeah, Kyle Korver's still in the league. Come on. He's guy. still playing. You guys He's putting up threes. You guys He's playing defense serious. on Jalen Brown. You, you guys, blah, 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 blah. You guys, so, guys can't be serious right now. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Keep, I just now, we need talking. to ask the original account. Keep talking. We need to ask the original okay. account because I don't know what it was. I I, again, it's completely <laughs> subjective it's of what funny. their purpose was. Okay. All right. Well, call me. By the way, by the way, by the way, real quick. If it was sarcasm yes. and they were trolling, you know what we would have had? What? The crying laughing emojis. Oh, you said that. that there were they none of those there. No emojis. Now you're trying to, you got to say the emojis. So Carmelo was mad. Carmelo wasn't happy. <laughs> wow. Carmelo was happy. And then he put in the emojis. And Carmelo's like, had to comment on this, this one. one. Some dude was like, yo, Melo, chill. F out of here. F out of here with your <laughs> chilling ass. Oh, here we go. All NBA riddles. Yeah, there we go. That yeah. was the original account. All right, there My we go. apologies. Yeah. Bro report captured all of this in one form of who he replied to, <laughs> which I was not saying a lot of. So oh, all NBA riddles put this out. Carmelo, wow. Had to comment, <laughs> F, F out of here. here. You know, you know you're mad when you do the F out of here. You, you, you know you're mad when you say that. Yeah. Because you, when you laugh, yeah. seriously, people laugh when they're really mad, and then they say something that lets you know they're really mad. So he put like the little laugh in the moment. He's like, ha ha, that's so funny. Right. If he just kept it at yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. like you know, because you, you gotta take, you gotta laugh at yourself yeah, sometimes. Like I laugh at you all the time. So you gotta learn to do that. Thank you. You know. So so, but when you put the F out of here. That's that, when that, it's serious. It hurts. It's in here. Yeah, it's that's in when you pick up your sword. It's in your heart. You're crying. And you you know, pick up your emoji sword yeah, and you yeah, start getting you're crying, pissed. Crying. Swinging it around the I, comments. I think, I think Melo, I don't want to say he gets a bad rap. I think the way his career is ending, <laughs> people forget how good he was Completely. at the beginning. Now, all of this is Melo's fault. He the one that wanted to leave Denver. When and they he were, didn't want to play defense. When they're a pretty good team. Mm -hmm. He the one that, instead of waiting a free agency, made the Knicks trade away all of their good assets to get him. He the one that got to New York and didn't want to, wasn't very coachable, didn't want to play defense. He the one that said, I want to get out of here and went to OKC and didn't really do it. So it's hard to feel bad for Melo because Melo's made a lot of money. Melo had plenty of time to waive trade clauses, to leave. Maybe he could have went to Houston as a free agent. I just want to look something up. He, he had a, I keep talking. He had a lot of stuff that he could have done to change his career. He had multiple times where he could have been a free agent and, you know, took less money. Now, I'm not saying anybody should take less money. Because trust me, I don't take no, a dollar. get your money. I don't take a dollar less to be on this show. Get your money. I don't take a dollar. They said, Ron, we're going to cut your pay. I said, I'll walk right out of this door right now. And then they said, okay. And then I came back. But that's not important. Not important. What I'm saying is I'm not, I'm not knocking him for taking his money. But when it comes to legacy and winning, he had an opportunity to do that. He chose not to. And that's, that's on him. And, and now... Unless something changes in the last few years of his career, as he pulls like a, a Gary Payton on Antoine Walker, where he gets on a team that happens just to win a championship. Like, like Joe Johnson is on the bench for the Rockets, right? He just chilling. But if he gets Joe. a ring, and that'd be like NBA champion Joe yeah, Johnson. He played two minutes the entire year. Who cares? His whole career gets reassessed. Mm -hmm. So if you're Carmelo, the, what I would... Say, if you don't want people to say F out of here, you got to find a place to go that has a legit shot to win a title, come off the bench, play But he, 20, but he won't minutes. do it. I know he won't. He won't. So, and that's he gets why, in his own and, way. And that's why people are trolling him with Kyle Korver stats. Okay. Go so, ahead. so I, I wanted to look up total points for their career, but unfortunately, 
I can't, nah. I can't find it right now. You can't find it? I can't find it. Um, Carmelo would be way ahead. I say that. Who has the better career? Yeah, Carmelo Anthony. It's a lady. Carmelo Anthony's a Hall uh, Are you putting Kyle Corver in the Hall of Fame? I'm, I'm seeing hey, I'm seeing yes hands. Here's, here's how I know. Here's how I know. <laughs> the, this is the test. Give me the test. The barometer is set by your immediate reaction to that question. Right. In my opinion, and this is something that we established at my mm. former uh, employer. Like, for example, if you were to say Jimmy Rollins Hall of Fame, yes, absolutely. That's when you know that he's in. Mm -hmm. Carmelo Anthony, Hall of Famer, Absol yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Automatically in. You asked me Kyle Corver, and I hesitated. Well, Kyle, That's how I know. He hasn't even been in the All-Star game, has he? I don't oh, think I, he's, yes, he has. He's been in the All-Star yes, Kyle has. Corver been in the All-Star game? Oh, I, I'm really, sorry. I really I'm want to find I'm this. I'm sorry, I Kyle Corver. I think it'll be, uh, okay. Here we go. There Total is. points. Yes. Who's 25,417. Was that for Melo? Remember that one. All right, 25,417. Because we can't remember all no, this. No, no, no. That's could a be lot close. Could be close. That's a lot of numbers. 25,417. And what's, 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 what's your boy? Finding it. It's right there. Scroll. Scroll. No, no, no. That's career. I thought this was I'm sorry. That's oh, per oh, game okay, career. Yeah, I got I to gotta find totals. Scrolling. You got to keep scrolling. There you go. Show totals. Show totals. 25,417. Scroll to the left. Scroll to the right. Not as much as I thought. Chris Cross. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just doing my own thing. Not as much as I, I thought. I tried to tell. I don't know why you don't think that's what he was showing. What is it? Like, take, take a guess. Take a guess. 19. 19? Not even. You got a guess in there? Not they're not, they're not paying attention. They're not. Hey, how you not paying attention to them? Where's the love? He said 17. Oh, he said 17. What is it? So it's, not, it's not even close. It's probably 10, like. 10,967. I said 10,000. Clark Corver. I take back my see ten thousand. Carmelo's more than fifty. He, he he is doubling up, and then some. He's not even close. I don't know what he's you not close. Why he's do you guys got love for? I mean, no, no, no. And the better defender was Carmelo. If they, it's not that if, I have if, if anything if against Kyle Corver. He just hung around for a very long time. Just shocked. He just hung around. He didn't even get in the, he didn't get in the first quarter. Twenty four thousand to not even night. eleven thousand. Well, that, no, that was. That's not his fault. Well, that's Ty Lue's fault. Ty Lue's fault. Why do, they keep saying, why do they keep saying Ty Lue's a great coach on the broadcast? That bothers me. <laughs> Ty Lue's a great coach. You got to be a great coach to coach great players. No, you don't. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to be. Uh, uh, we can coach. I can coach LeBron James. You can coach LeBron James. <laughs> I can coach LeBron James. Yeah. I mean, you know how I coach LeBron James? Yeah. Hey, uh, let's run a few double screens yeah, do uh, along the baseline, and uh, let's just get the matchup we want for LeBron on the low block. I, I think I think That's NBA, my offense. I think NBA coaching is much different than almost any other coach. I think it's much more psychology. It's much more like you got to motivate. Like I think best you know, coaches, NFL best in the NFL. No, no, I'm saying like right. for how difficult their job is. Yeah. It's the NFL. Right, because in the Think NFL. Think about how many players you got to manage, right. how many plays you got to call. Call, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Game NFL, situations right, are so like, ticky-tack. Motivation in the NFL is, I think, overrated. I think you got to have good scheme, good players, and mm -hmm. people that believe in what you're, you know, doing. And that's what makes, I don't, you know, like, everybody, and you don't have to like your coach in the NFL. I don't think everybody likes Bill Belichick. He knows what he's doing. They respect the yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, you know, if you put Tom Brady on the Browns, it wouldn't be the same thing. And then, hey, Bill, sure. Bill, Bill well, Belichick. It depends on an offensive line. Yeah, it's also something. It's just gotta... so much. Thing. I think with the NBA, you got five players, right? And you got players like J.R. Smith. And you got to figure out a way to make them oh. semi productive. Oh, man. You know, you know what, what I saying? love about J.R. Right. Smith? What? When he hits a shot, he's like, uh, like I should I should. Eat. But when he, yeah, but that's after he missed seven. And I right. like J.R. I like J.R. too. It's just, but just the, the, the oh, look, I, I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to be too harsh on him. Yes. He's had a terrible series. Oh, absolutely. He hits one. He's like, eh, oh, J.R. Smith. Now, whether this is an act of like, I can't believe and I just hit the thing. one. Here's the thing. But for, I don't think it is because he's so confident. For the J.R. Smiths of the world, LeBron got him that one ring, whole legacy changes. You see what I'm saying? He always, if that's the thing about playing with the LeBrons and the Kobe's. I don't know about that. I think so. We live in a what have you done for me lately society. No, I think it, it, so. J.R. Smith doesn't have that same sort of respect I, but, that other Cleveland Cavaliers had on that championship. But I think twenty years down the road, down the road, when J.R. Smith is doing like you know TV because they all hate the media, then they go do TV, and they're gonna be like, hey, J.R. Smith. NBA champion. It's just a, it's a thing. It's like when they call me Mr. Worldwide when I when I come uh, on something. You know. Let us know your thoughts. Hey, you like when I say I'm Mr. Worldwide. Comment section below. It hurts my feelings right here. Give us a thumbs up. F out of here. And subscribe <laughs> to TYT Sports.